Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including LinkedIn in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about finding jobs on LinkedIn. And this is a pretty important topic to lots of people. Uh, they're, they want to network on LinkedIn, but also maybe they're interested in finding a new job, you know, actively looking for it, or just seeing what's available out there. And this, this short video will show you how to do it. So log into LinkedIn. This is the new interface. You'll see this when you log in. This is your home feed, uh, feeds by different people. Sometimes jobs pop up here. For instance, this person is saying, uh, just posted a comment saying the Harvard Innovation Lab is hiring. Please spread the word to your networks. You can see more about that. But I'm more interested in the real heavy duty jobs features. And that can be found on the jobs tab up in the LinkedIn toolbar. So click on that. And there's a couple of different elements to it. One is that LinkedIn presents opportunities to you based on your career profile and the position that you have. So it's presenting all of these uh, marketing things, sometimes editorial, sometimes publishing things. Uh, they show up here. They're offered to me based on my preferences or uh, what they see, it, what the algorithm sees in my profile. It's done automatically. And if I want to apply to one of the jobs, basically what I would do is I'd click on this little square. It would show me more information about the job. And it's actually pretty interesting what people post. So generally there'll be responsibilities, different skills that are going on. And if you want to apply, you would just click this button that says in apply. This means that you apply on the LinkedIn website. It will draw in information from your profile and then give it to this person, Chrissy. And that way, uh, LinkedIn, you don't need to change your, or you don't need to send a resume or anything like that because it's just drawing the information from your active profile. Another thing you can do is you can save it. And saving means maybe you're looking at a whole bunch of different jobs and saving it will just kind of put it in your folder for future reference. Like if you're going through a lot of jobs in a day and you want to just save them first before looking at them, that's, that's what you would do. Sometimes another thing that you might see here is actually a, a, link, a link or a button to apply on someone else's external website. So instead of this button, it'll be a, a button that says apply on the, uh, on the company's website. So you'd click on that, you'd be go to an external website like a jobs page, and then it will show you the information and how to apply, which might be sending an email with a resume or it could be a totally different system and you have to you know, upload your resume or paste in the information. So there's a couple different ways to do it. One other thing that you can do if you want to find out more about the job, you can also, um, if it says the job posted by somebody, you can send an in-mail. However, this is a premium feature. You have to sign up for a premium account. They usually cost a couple hundred dollars per year. So think about that before you actually jump into that whole service because it is there is a significant cost to it. Now, one thing is I've just showed you how to how to take a look at the jobs that are presented to you, but you can also actively look for something. So let's say that I'm looking for a job as a book publisher. That's what I do right now, but I want to find a job at a bigger company in the greater Boston area. If I wanted to, I could change that to New York or San Francisco or even overseas, and then I click search. And it will show you some titles that come up there. So actually, it's interesting. It's giving, I search for book publisher, but it's giving me other titles at book publishers. So this is a senior director of market research at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, which is a big book publisher. If I wanted to find out more about that, I could click on it. The other thing I could do is I could start to filter them. And actually, because there's not many jobs in this particular sector in my area, there's not really much to filter. Um, if I was searching in the New York City area, for instance, there'd probably be many different options I could click on to either exclude or include them. And of course, if I wanted to apply to the job, I'd click on this. I'd read through the description and hey, I'd apply on company website, click that, I'll be taken to the um, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt website to apply. For more information on how to get the most out of LinkedIn, including searching for jobs, networking, and making a killer profile, check out our book, LinkedIn in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.